we gonna call her Snow White because she is just like pale as hell. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey you guys, about to do this video, this hair video, this hair tutorial. This time I cut out a lot of the video because I really didn't want to waste you guys' time. I'm trying out some new things like this color. Like I don't really wear like this rustic kind of color, but I thought it was kind of nice, like something different. I kind of, you know what? I always try to match with the background, but I try to incorporate like the color with the background that I'm wearing for some reason. I don't know because I don't want it to clash. And that's even with like my backdrops, which I really need to just start reusing again. But you know, I have gotten really lazy. Let's get into this hair video. So this hair is for a company called Miss Coco Hair. And let me tell you, I got something long, hunties. It's not 30 inches, it's 28. But on me, it's gonna look like it's 38, okay? So I got their loose deep wave and it's virgin Brazilian hair with a frontal in inches of 28, 28, 26, 26. And I got a 22 inch frontal. I've never had 28 inches of hair in my life. Bam! I don't even remember what her name was. I did give her a name the other day, but in the other video, but I don't even remember what the heck it is now. But uh, we don't call her Snow White because she is just like pale as hell. This mannequin, though, I actually really do love this mannequin. It is like, you know, one of those teaching mannequins, you know. It allows you to curl the hair a lot easier. You could definitely curl the hair better on these. They're rubber. It doesn't melt. You know what I'm saying? It has like a little hairline demarcation. And this I did get from BD Beauty, which is on Amazon. Look, I left the tag on the actual... Well, I took the tag from the bundles and tied it to the netting of the wig cap that I used. And it has so many wigs that I was doing doing at one time that I just wanted to make sure I remember. I tell y'all, it was kind of like dry. It was, it was, it was dry. It wasn't kind of, it was dry. The luster was not there like that. Like seriously, it wasn't so lustrous and shiny and sheeny and all of that good stuff. It really was, wasn't. And I don't even know if sheeny is a word, but it is for today's video. When I conditioned it, I really had to brush a lot. So it did shed enough. It shed enough for me. Like I had to really like brush through it, but I like the way I did the curls. It came out so pretty. I did bleach the knots and I did pre pluck it so the funny thing is that i did bleach a little bit too much right here but i got a correction for that the wig cap that i use it's a q fit adjustable wig cap it's a netted cap but this one is like better than the other netted caps that i normally use it has a lot more stretch it does have the ear the the earpiece things on the side or whatever for the temples and the hooks there are hooks in the back for these ones versus like the other ones that i use they don't have hooks so like i said i bleached the knot i put some combs in the back and i pre-tweezed it so so let's get into this real quick.
look, hunties. This hair is so like pretty, okay? Now, first of all, I did have a little issues with the actual cap. It was a little bit. I need the elastic band in the back. But it came out so cute. Like, this came out pretty. It's loose, deep wave, or deep, loose wave, something like that. But it's not like, you know how you get the straight hair and it's bone straight? It's not like that so it will hold a curl because, you know, straight hair sometimes does not hold a curl that long. This will hold a curl because it's not, like, sleek bone straight. And it has, like, some nice texture to it. I can't really explain it, but it's not so bone straight to where it's, like, wet looking or shiny looking it, it just looks more natural it's not too lustrous it's not too shiny so that's the one thing that i'm liking about this if this is four bundles i did curl this hair even though it's a loose deep wave when i did wash it of course it did come back it wasn't as wavy um as i would prefer it to be but i wanted to just put totally different curls in it i you know normally i'll just wash it and wear it if it's wavy but the, the waves like weren't like popping at me like that like lately i have not seen a lot of them a lot of hair bundles that are super duper wavy like you know what i'm saying like i've used to get like some that was overly wavy but this one was wavy but not so wavy you know what i'm saying and i just felt like you know i wanted to do something different with it because the hair was not so fine it had gave like a perfect texture perfect density to the hair that i would be able to do some curls like this and it would look really nice if you want to see a tutorial on how to do these curls then please leave your comments below so in the video i did use my clear all beautiful collections and this is um this is permanent hair dye, uh, semi-permanent hair color, and it's in the color dark, a medium brown. I like this way, like, it came out good. I think she might have to go with a mannequin and put my collection on that. It's like, what? Mm, she real cute. She is really, really cute. I like the way it came out. Like, this is like a spur of the moment thing, and I just wanted to try something totally different. And I actually really do think it's cute, honey. It is cute. What? Let me know what you think of this unit. I will post all of the information below for MissCocoHair.com. Super affordable. I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Have a great evening, day, whenever you're watching this video. And I will see you guys in the soon-to-come video.